Hell in a Cell. We will see if Jey Uso or Roman Reigns will be the undisputed tribal chief. Uso! But Cowboys fans, don't fret. Your new chef has stepped up, Andy Dalton, and behind me is the field he's going to lead your team to victory. At the last night's game between the Titans and the Bills, Derrick Henry may have just stiff on Josh Norman into a seat beside me. There's room. Now, before I start this video, and you, you talk about your favorite five wrestlers, none of them can hold a jock strap of Don Suave. I am the champion. I am the champion's champion. Roman Reigns talks about the head of the table. I am the building the table is headed. Now, I need everyone there to know that I am the sports broadcaster. And you have your orders from me to acknowledge me. Acknowledge me. And now you have your orders, I'll start the video. These are the top five favorite wrestlers the fans voted for. And I saw the team. And I saw the commands. Ah, what are you gonna do? I'm so sad. I'm hurt. What are we gonna do? Ah. Many people ask, what do NFL players eat before a game? An age old lunch. Apparently, that never he fails. Who's leading the MVP race? I want to bring back again the legendary Zach Barnett to discuss just who is the midseason MVP. So I have my take. What is yours? Everyone has their own take on this perspective, but the guy that I've chosen, the midseason MVP for me, is not a quarterback, not a defensive back, not even someone that's on the radar. It is the running back from the Tennessee Titans, Derrick Henry, 240 pounder mm. out of Alabama. Mm. With stiff arms to Josh Norman and several others, you can make a take for him any day of the week. With 588 rushing yards for the season, he keeps plowing down defenses left and right. That's my take. That's my MVP, Derrick Henry. Mm. Well, first, before I like to start, I like to say, uh, we're going to say a prayer, rest in peace to Josh Norman. <laughs> Throw him off the field. You know, he, he, he basically pushed to retirement early. But that's a good take. Derrick Henry is proven to be a monster of a running back. He looks look like a new version of Earl Campbell. But in this league, it is a quarterback-driven league. We all know it. So my take is a man that really – he gets respect, but he don't get the respect that he really deserves. That's the – let's say I see how quarterback, Russell Wilson. Just think about it. Russell Wilson has 22 touchdowns, one pick. You do that ratio, that's one pick. And we are already in midseason form, 22 touchdowns. The man can't be stopped. The Seahawks are undefeated. He's also throwing for about 8.6 yards per attempt. That means as soon as he get the ball, he's going for a first down. He ain't dicking and having and trying to get to, to check down his receiver. No, he's going for first down or touchdowns. Russell Wilson also is the heart and soul of Seattle. He is bringing that train for them to win. And if he continue on with this, there's no question. I know we got, you said Derrick Henry uh, and may as much say Patrick Mahomes, but we got to get respect. Russell Wilson is the MVP right now. And if he continue to play like this, he will be the MVP at the end of the season. And you will see Seattle at the end of the playoffs, or maybe into the Super Bowl. Hello, everyone. College game that has touched down in Orlando, Florida, for a special visit to the University of Central Florida. And these fans are out here showing the support for their team. 
visit to the school's football team and their miracle on field story. For one college sports fan, this weekend will be a special one. Almost like a dream come true. You know, and I've been doing this for so many years and following UCF and now to see a spring college game day, it's a great thrill because I tell you what, they, they, they deserve it. Teams like Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State, and other big name schools have always had the pleasure of college game day showing up. There's something different when game day show up to a school who doesn't get as much exposure. There's always uh, kind of a new sense of energy when you go to a place you haven't been. People who aren't accustomed to having the show on their campus, they really seem to roll out the red carpet and there's a lot of excitement and enthusiasm and look, we're really grateful for that. With the large success of the UCS football team, the energy is on another level. With that energy, sports enthusiasts from all over are now taking notice. So this was a great week to do it, and we've been looking for an opportunity to come here because UCF has been a story in college football uh, really since the end of last season. I'm not going to say, I think when they started, you know, seven.